after studying this module you shall be able to know what is injury different definition of injuries factors which affect causation of mechanical injuries various types or classification of mechanical injuries medically legally important uh, types of wounds like defense wounds offense wounds and fabricated wounds also to introduce you the topic of injuries when we talk about the injuries in for in forensic medicine practice or you can say in medico legal practice we usually refer it to as a mechanical injuries although the legal definition of injuries is a different one which i will come to later mechanical injuries are injuries which are produced by a mechanical force the word injury is derived from a latin word injuria which means a wrong injury is also used synonymously with the wound legally injury is defined under section 44 of indian penal code which says that any harm whatever illegally caused to a person in body mind reputation or property so either of these four if it is produced it will be labeled as injury medical definition of injury or wound is the any breach in the anatomical continuity of the tissues of the body so most of the times when we, during the medico legal practice what we refer the injury is basically the wound now what are the general principles which govern the causation of an injury an injury or wound is caused due to external mechanical force acting over the body either due to movement of both the body and the weapon of offense or movement of the body alone in the first case the counter force is provided by the inertia of the body and in the second case by the rigidity of any stationary object against which the body strikes usually a combination of both are seen due to the impact between the forward moving force and counter force energy is transferred to the bodies which cause a change in their state of motion or rest now let's see what are the various factors which influence production of mechanical injuries first is the amount of energy discharged as we know by the basic science knowledge in a moving object kinetic energy is measured by half mv square where m is the mass and v is the velocity so an object having definite velocity and definite mass has a definite amount of energy when the mass doubles kinetic energy also doubles but when the velocity doubles kinetic energy increases four times because it is the square one so thus velocity has far more influence on the energy as compared to the mass second factor is the time the shorter the period of time needed for the transfer of energy the greater is the likelihood of producing the damage if a person gets punched the more damage will be caused if withdrawn immediately rather than if it stays in place now third factor is the area of transfer the smaller the area of impact the more is the damage than if the same force is used over a larger surface then fourth factor is the inertia of tissue inertia of tissue is the tendency of the tissue struck by a force to move and its ability to stop the motion without disruption of the tissue so more the inertia of the tissue less is the damage caused then fifth factor is the elasticity and plasticity the less elastic and plastic the tissue the greater is the chance of causing damage to the tissue now sixth factor is the hydrostatic pressure when a force is being transmitted through a fluid containing tissue such as bladder and stomach then the force will displace the fluid medium away from the point of contact resulting in the tissue laceration a blow with a weapon having a flat surface will produce less severe injury than that of a narrow object 
because of the diffusion of the energy over a larger surface. A blow struck with a projecting object with force will cause much more injury as all the force is delivered by the projection. A blow to rounded portion like head will produce more severe injury than the injury sustained over a flat portion of the body by same force as the larger force is being dissipated over the flat surface. Now let's see in what way the injuries are classified. There are many ways of classifying the injuries. First is the medical classification. Medically, the injuries are classified as mechanical injuries, then thermal injuries, the chemical injuries and the miscellaneous injuries. The mechanical injuries are further classified depending upon the weapon of offense involved. So it can be basically three types due to blunt force impact, due to sharp force impact or due to firearms. Now what are the injuries which are produced by the blunt force impact? Due to blunt force impact either striking the body as in a blow or the moving body striking a fixed object or surface as in a case of fall on a rough surface. The injuries caused by blunt force impact are basically three that is abrasion, bruise and laceration. Bruise is also called as contusion. Now second is the sharp force impact. Due to striking of the body by edge of any sharp object like knife tip, broken glass or heavy sharp object like axe, sword etc. They cause injuries namely incised wound, stab wound and chop wounds. So these three are the type of injuries which are produced by the sharp force. Now third category of mechanical injury is due to firearms. They are the firearm injuries and the second category is the blast wounds or the bomb explosion. They are also categorized under the injuries, firearm injuries. Now second is the thermal injuries. Thermal injuries can be further categorized into basic four types. That is one due to local effects of cold, then generalized effects of cold and local heat application and generalized effects of heat. So these are the four basic categories. Now due to local effect of cold, there can be frostbite, trench foot or immersion syndrome as well as chill blain. The generalized effect of cold causes hypothermia. Due to local heat application, again there can be two possibilities. One which is produced by application of dry heat, for example flame, they are called as burns. And second category is scalds, which is produced by the application of moist heat. Then the generalized effect of heat, it may lead to heat hyperparexia, heat exhaustion or heat collapse, heat cramps or minor's cramps as well as heat stroke. So these are the four types of the generalized effect of heat. Then third category, major category is the chemical burns. They are nothing but the result of chemical reactions as happen in cases of corrosive acids and alkalis. Now fourth group can be the miscellaneous injuries where many of the injuries are clubbed together like electrical injuries causing electrocution. Then the blast injuries which can be termed as a combination of mechanical and thermal injuries. Then radiation injuries which are caused as a result of radioactive substances and x-rays. Then the lightning injuries which is a combination of electrical, mechanical as well as thermal injuries. Now second type of classification is the legal classification. What the court wants to know so that he, they can penalize according to the uh, type of injury. Legally the injuries are classified as three again three types simple, grievous or dangerous. Now let's understand this is a bit tricky. Grievous injuries are defined under section 320 IPC which has got eight specific clauses that, that will be dealt separately. Then dangerous injuries are otherwise extension of eighth clause of the grievous injuries. However, it is defined as the injuries which pose eminent danger to life in the absence of surgical or intervention. So that is the dangerous injuries. Now what are simple injuries? So whatever is left out of the grievous injuries and dangerous injuries, that all is covered under the simple injuries. 
so basically it is defined as those which are neither grievous nor dangerous so simple injuries are those which are neither grievous nor dangerous and we know what are the various types of grievous injuries and what are various types of dangerous injuries third classification is medical legal classification again this question arises when in a court of law when we we have to comment upon what type of injury it, it can be again there can be various possibilities like it can be suicidal the homicidal the accidental the fabricated as well as the defense wounds so this table depicts basically a difference between these lacerated wound incised wound and stab wound which ultimately by examining all those ultimate idea is to when we can comment upon the manner of injury whether they can be accidental suicidal or homicidal let's understand these other two which are important here in this context are the defense wound and the fabricated injuries defense wounds are caused by immediate and instinctive reaction of the victim to save himself that is the natural process if any person is attacked the person will try to save him, himself and in the process the person gets injuries they are called as defense injuries they are classified into two types active defense wounds and passive defense wounds active defense wounds are those when the victim tries to grasp the weapon of offense actively so that is active defense wounds the passive defense wounds are those when the victim raises the hands arms or legs to defend himself that is the passive defense wounds now what are the salient features of these injuries these defense wounds in almost all homicidal injuries defense wounds are present if the victim was conscious at that time when the weapon is sharp then incised wounds or stab wounds are present and the when blunt weapon is involved then usually abrasions and contusions along with rare fracture of the carpals and metacarpals are seen usually the victim raises the arm flexing the elbow or tries to grasp the weapon covering the head face eyes as a result defense wounds are present over the extensor surface of the ulna wrist and back of the hand knuckles as well as lateral or posterior aspects of the upper arms because this is the natural process by which a person tries to defend himself when the victim tries to grab the weapon then defense wound may be present in the palms if single edged weapon is used then incised wounds are found either on palm or bend of the finger if double edged weapon is used then injuries are found both on palms as well as fingers rarely defense wounds may be found over the knees over the thighs or over the shin of the tibia if the victim is thrown over the ground and the victim curls up to kick the assailant usually in cases of sexual assault or rape such defense wounds are found what is the medico legal importance of defense wounds they are almost always associated with the homicidal injuries in sexual assault victims defense wound may be found in females around thighs and knee region then what are fabricated wounds the self inflicted wounds or the fabricated wounds are those which are produced by a person on his own body or by another person by his consent so there can be two possibilities one is self inflicted when he has produced himself and the other one is the what we called as self suffered when he has agreed he has consented and his accomplice or his friend introduces or causes the production of injury the basic mot motive of the fabricated injuries is because of that various reasons like in order to charge another person with assault or attempt to murder in order to change a simple injury into grievous injury so as to fabricate or for medical benefits by the assailant to pretend self defense or to change the appearance of the wounds which can connect him to the crime it is used by the prisoners to bring charge of assault on the officers by military men to escape service or for grant of leave by women to bring charge of sexual assault by mentally ill person or to fabricate 
fiend insanity, the religious fanatics, or for the purpose of blackmailing. So all these situations, the fabricated wounds are produced. Now what are the various features of the fabricated wounds? Usually fabricated wounds are incised wounds, sometimes contusion and rarely lacerated wounds. Incised wounds are usually parallel of equal depth at origin as well as termination. Usually the injuries avoid vital points like eyes, lips, ears, nose, these are the vital points. So the usually injury will not be produced involving these organs. Usually the direction of the wound is behind forward, if on top of the forehead, behind forward, above downwards on outer side of upper arm, below upwards on the front of forearm, vertical on the chest and abdomen and on the legs they are variable. If stab wounds are present then they are usually multiple in number and are superficial. If burns are used as a fabricated wound then they are superficial and seen usually over the left upper arm in case of right handed persons and vice versa. The clothings are not cut or torn, even if they are, they do not correspond to the underlying injuries and the history given is incompatible to the injuries sustained. Now what is the medical legal significance of the self-inflicted injuries or the fabricated injuries? They are self-inflicted and usually inflicted by the person himself or by another person by his consent in order to malign a third party. Now let us understand what are offence wounds. Offence wounds as the name suggests are caused during offence rather than defence and are found over the body of the assailant. The injuries sustained are mainly abrasions, contusions, lacerations over the knuckle region. If the fist was planted over the victim's mouth and exposed teeth then laceration may be produced by the teeth of the victim as well. So bite marks. The injury should match with the fractured or dislocated teeth of the victim. As per the Locard's principle, saliva of the victim would be detected in such laceration and also the teeth of the victim may reveal blood stain of the assailant. Now what is the medical legal importance of offence injuries? So matching the injuries sustained over the body of the assailant during offence to the victim's injuries or blood stain or saliva found over the victim relates the assailant to the crime. That is the medical legal importance. Now to summarize this topic, it is the section 44 of Indian Penal Code which defines injury as any harm whatever illegally caused to a person in body, mind, reputation or property. An injury or wound is caused due to external mechanical force acting over the body either due to movement of both the body and the weapon of offence or movement of the body alone. The shorter the period of the time needed for the transfer of energy, the greater is the likelihood of producing the damage. Legally injuries are classified into simple, grievous and dangerous. Defence wounds are caused by immediate and instinctive reaction of the victim to save, save himself. Self-inflicted wounds or the fabricated wounds are those which are produced by a person on his own body or by another person in connivance or with, with his consent. The offence wounds as the name suggests are caused during offence rather than defence and are found over the body of the assailant.